We are live. It's a Thursday night presentation here on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Chicago Bull at United Center. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Well, Kevin, one of the great stories is Julius Randle becoming an all-star in New York. Randle said it's been a lot of hard work paying off as a shooter, a passer, a leader, you name it. I've gotten to flip the script on my own reputation while also helping with this larger thing we have going, changing the reputation of our entire franchise. Mission accomplished, Kevin. Yep, he's big enough to handle it. His performance speaks loudly. Thank you, D.A. While we get a break, let's now take a look at the October standings out east. We'll take a look at the Knicks. Off to a great start this season, currently in second. And checking out Chicago. Quite a few spots down the ladder right now. Yeah, but checking out Chicago, they're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level. You know, it's got to be frustrating for them. You can't dwell on the past. You've got to think forward, work together, and play for one another. And now the New York Knicks starters sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. Randall and Robinson make up the inside Here we pair. Go. And it's Rose in at the point guard position. And for Chicago, in the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. Williams is out there with DeRozan. And it's Vucevic in at the five, patrolling the bench. Hey, Doris, one thing you can count on with Mitchell Robinson. He's going to make the majority of the shots he takes. Right, think about it. Back in 2020, he shattered the record for highest field goal percentage of the season. Most of his buckets right at the cup in the restricted area. This guy has plenty of time to expand that range, and we know he's working on it. But I think the team found a steal in a second-round pick back in 2018. Mitchell Robinson, big-time athlete, big-time shot blocker, and I believe he has the work ethic to turn him into an offensive force. Levine, good. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag, and, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now, here's Fournier coming off a Evan solid Fournier. outing against Philadelphia. This guy's more than capable as a ball handler. Fournier, clever, navigating his way around the defense. DeRozan for three. They get it back. For three, Levine. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levine. And the early season power rankings, of course, a lot should change over the course of the year, but this is where we stand now. Taking a look at New York, they've achieved some upward momentum, climbing to the fifth spot on the board. And checking out Chicago, they're obviously trending in a positive direction, but still working out some of those early season timing issues. But I have to say, I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, he's still showing flashes of that incredible athleticism. Rose is a force attacking the lane. On the wing to Rosen. Connects from three-point range. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. And what happens is the court just opens up. You like seeing him get into a rhythm from outside the arc. Love it. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The Knicks making the shot. Back to ball. Over Rose. And ball gets it to go on the assist by Levine. Well, because he's such a good scorer, passing windows open up for Zach Levine. Rose against ball. Let's a floater go. And I love the way he uses his size there to make sure he gets that ball. On the wing, Levine. A three off the mark. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Rose. Knocks down the 10-footer. Rose has got his second bucket of the night. And for teams already exceeding expectations, Greg, their spirits are running sky high right now. And it's such a great feeling to come out strong. But it's hard to maintain that consistency. The teams that do, they believe in themselves and they keep playing to their strength. Here's Rose following the score by DeMar DeRozan. 
Cruz in the post. Vucevic with the block. Well, the reach, the timing, Vucevic using all of that 7-4 wingspan to turn that shot away. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Now here's Rose. His last outing, 16 points for him. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Dean passes to Vucevic. Left side, ball. Vucevic trying to get open. And Lonzo Ball with the three. Ball. Ball's got five. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. You've got to have a great sense of timing on the alley-oop pass. Fantastic finish by Mitchell Robinson. Here's Levine. Mitchell Robinson making his last shot. Williams, a screen on Fournier. Takes the three. Can't hit that one. The Knicks go the other way with it. This their first chance to take a look at the Bulls this season. And, and as you would expect, they came out on top in last season's series against this club. But no reason to expect anything different this time around. You take nothing for granted. These teams are very familiar with one another, and we expect a close contest. Now Vucevic following the three-point attempt by Derrick Rose. Levine, good. Oh, this is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. So Chicago ends up going with a new group. And a new group in for the Knicks. Noel's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Alec Burks comes in for Barrett. Manual quickly, he's checked in for Evan Fournier. And Walker subbed in for Derrick Rhodes. And here's Walker. His last outing, 16 points for him. Quickly finds Noel. Knocked away. And stolen by White. To the paint. And Green slams it in. Oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. Knicks trail by eight. Here's Walker. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 157 left to play here in the first. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 17 to six run. Here's Johnson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Burks can't get it to go. Chicago leading by 10. Right wing. Here's Caruso. Good. It's Green picking up the assist. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. Walker the pass to Noel, and slam dunk by Noel. Well, we've known for a long time Kemba Walker. Walker is gifted on the offensive end, and it's not just about his scoring. Look at that on the assist. Now, here's Bradley. He's still scoreless so far in this one, and he comes up with the deuce. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Burks against Green. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Randall down low. White covering. Misses from close range. Here's Johnson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Nerlens Noel. Chicago shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. the line for Chicago. Alize. And that one falls for Johnson. So for the Bulls. Brown is checked in for Green. And it's Dosumu in for White. Both shots good from the strike. 
Knicks trail by 15. Outside, Walker. Four seconds left, and the jumper is good. Boy, the knack for scoring inside one of Kemba Walker's most special skills. Wow. And so it's Chicago, looking at a 13-point lead, heading into the next quarter. They've excelled in the open court. Their transition game has allowed them to build this healthy lead. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Get up and get we've down. seen the improvement for the Knicks under Coach Tom Thibodeau. His star, Julius Randle, defines Tibbs' approach. Cares about you as a human being as a person. He wants to see you uh, really excel as a player, and he knows that the only way to do that is through the grind, through hard work, through putting the hours and the effort in day after day. So that's his thing. Um, he's gonna push you, push you in practice, push you in workouts, and uh, he's your biggest fan when you're out there on the court. He is indeed in that effort and grittiness, something we've seen from Thibodeau's teams over the years. And Knicks fans recognize that brand of basketball. You think back to the years with Ewing and Oakley in the middle, it fits in the Big Apple. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy baskets. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. And now let's check out the lineups. Courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. Mitchell Robinson out there with Nerland's Noel. And it's Walker in at the one spot. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Vucevic, and that one goes long. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. And Nikola Vucevic just quietly dominates, capable of racking up a double-double on any night. Yeah, it still feels like Vuce is a bit underrated. This guy can flat-out play on both ends. Capable scorer, improved defensively. You love what he brings to the table. Here's Ball. Mitchell Robinson making his last shot. Here's Vucevic. The 10-footer finds the target. Vucevic has got his second basket of the night. You have to admire the confidence of Nikola Vucevic. This close, he's focused on putting two on the board. All right, fans, get on your feet and make some noise. It's Eastern time. Williams is checked in for Troy Bryant. And check in for some seconds for Last season, he played outstanding. Seventh in scoring. And he was also extremely dependable behind the three-point line. Finishing the season among the top 20 in three-point percentage. And back to his points per game average last year. He literally propped up the team's offense whenever they needed it. Barrett with the ball. Now defended by Levine. And the way they have controlled the glass in this game, really impressive. And bottom line, more boards means more possessions. That's how you build a lead. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Vucevic has got four assists now tonight. Outside Fournier. And to get open is Robinson. That shot, no good. Ice D from DeRozan. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Chicago Bulls. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. Derek Rose has checked in for Kemba Walker. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Noel, a screen on Ball. Williams with the steal. In the corner, it's Levine over Noel. And it's Levine that time on the assist by Williams. 
15 points for Zach Levine. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. And Noel throws it down. We're talking about a guy who's got incredible length. Nerland's Noel doing work on the glass. To the middle. Here's Vucevic, and the layup's good off the glass. Vucevic has got six here in this quarter. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. Rose with the ball. Now guarded by Vucevic. Robinson kicks to Fournier. The pass to Noel. Ball against Rose. Over ball. And it's Rose missing. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Here's Ball. And the rejection by Noel. This is a staple of his game. Nerland's Noel sends it back. Outside Fournier. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Three. Fournier's got seven points in the game. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open level up. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Get up and get loud for the lookable. So for the Knicks, Randall's checked in for Nerland's Noel. Alec Burks comes in for Evan Fournier. And quickly in for Rose. The Bulls leading by 18. Outside, White. Pass to Green. Back to White. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the call. New York with the foul. Chicago the shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Alize Johnson taking two shots. That free throw missing. Offensive stats and records always draw more attention, Doris, but the defensive skill level in the NBA right now is also incredibly high. It is, Kevin. We talk about basketball IQ, and so often we're referencing the offensive end of the floor, how to manipulate pick and roll, how to read and react in some motion offenses. I think high-caliber, smart defensive players impact winning as much as anybody. Do you have game plan discipline? Do you know what your philosophy is? Do you understand the personnel on the opposite side? That takes work and it takes commitment, and I have great admiration for those guys. Now, here's quickly. No points in the game yet for him. And Barrett gets it to go. Well, you have to understand, spacing is provided when you can make threes. R.J. Barrett delivers. Here's Johnson. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Quickly the pass to Burks. Rebound by the Bulls. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offense, man, but that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions, and that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. Going inside, misses from short range. Chicago leading by 14. And with Kobe White, you hate to see him settle. He's best when going at the rim. The defense wins if he takes that mid-range jumper. New York's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. And it's quickly in the corner. Back to Burks. Quickly kicks to Burks. Shot clock at six. And Robinson throws it down. Well, Burke showing he's more than just a scorer. Terrific pass to his teammates. And Greg with Kobe White. He's a solid shooter, but teams have keyed in on him. I just want to see him more in attack mode. He's a solid finisher when he gets in there. And it could take his game 
to the next level. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Count that one. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Caruso quickly covering Johnson. That's for two. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Randall outside. Robinson left side. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Robinson. Robinson's got eight here in the quarter. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Watching the line there, that'll be a backcourt violation. Chicago making a switch here. Dosumu's checked in. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Walker's checked in. Pastor Randall. Here's quickly. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Zach Levine making things happen for the Chicago Bulls. He ends up propping in two from distance, making a difference from long range in this one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Alongside Coach Thibodeau. Tip some stuff to clean up. What will the points of emphasis be going into the second half? better defense. We keep allowing them to get second shots, defensive transition, not challenging their shots properly, so we don't play defense. We can't win. And we'll see if your guys can stick to the script better in the second half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And hello, everybody. What an amazing first half performance it's been for the Chicago Bulls. Well, what I like, the ball never stopped moving, nor did the players. Everyone working in unison and playing for one another. Love to watch this brand of basketball. And we've got a whole nother half to go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, now let's take a look at the power rankings in the Eastern Conference early on. Looking at the Bulls, they're right where I expected them to be. The effort is there, but their play is inconsistent. Feels like they're still constructing this roster. We'll see what they look like by the end of the year. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You look at Zach Levine. He's really been playing well. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And, boy, this young guy has done just that. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. The Bulls leading by 10. In the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. Williams is out there with Vucevic, and it's DeRozan in at the three, the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Now here's Levine. Here's Vucevic. Up and in on the way. Vucevic has got the first field goal the second half for the Bulls. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Fournier dishes DeRozan. Looking to get back on track here. It's good on the putback. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Oh, Robinson with the block. Now, no easy bucket with Mitchell Robinson in the vicinity. Sends that back with authority. Here at the pass to Rose. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Rose has got his third basket of the night. The drive by ball on Rose. And it's Vucevic that time on the assist by Ball. Ball's got six assists now in the game. 
throws against Ball. Fournier gets a wide open look, and he's and good on the three ball. Fournier's got 10 points. They're so adept at sizing up the defense, guys. You cannot give Fournier any space. Here's Vucevic. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Passes it to Robinson. Rose with the ball. Now guarded by Vucevic. Randall with a screen for Fournier. Back to Rose. Clock at four. From outside, off the mark. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Levine can't hit. Here's Vucevic. The putback. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. New York. And, and with a moment, let's check out the Checking stats for the for Vucevic. He's coming no off an no excellent way. season. He was Kevin around Walker. 23 points a game last year. 11 rebounds and 4 assists. And, and most important of all is his passing. He's a terrific distributor in their offense. That's certainly one of his best attributes, creating offense even when it looks like there's nothing there. Fans, the loudest section gets free t-shirts. Let's see who's loudest. And here's the stat sheet on DeMar DeRozan. Great showing for him last season. 11th in assists, and he'd make you pay every time he went to the line. Top 20 in free throw percent. He was the consummate playmaker last season. Completely unselfish. Always had his head up, looking for the open man. Here's Barrett. He has five. Right side, Fournier. Over Levine. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Fournier. This is the court awareness that gives you great hope for R.J. Barrett. He's a scorer, but if he can complement that with passing, look out, folks. And the rejection by Noel. And they're able to recover. And he recovers it. Vucevic. And again, Chicago. No good. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Outside Fournier. Six on the shot clock. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Boy, the game of basketball has exploded in Europe and in one country in particular. France. Evan Fournier has been a fixture on the Evan French national Fournier. team, and he has got some Two incredible shots. teammates. And he knocks down the first one. For Fournier, he's joined in the international competitions by NBA Defensive Player of the Year, Rudy Gobert. Boy, what a great one-two punch for the French, including those two. Nine players from France saw time in the NBA in the 2021 season. Gives you some sense of how the talent pool continues to expand. Incredible. Ball, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough openings to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Walker. Driving to the basket. Vucevic with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Chicago making some changes. Johnson comes in for Patrick Williams. And it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. The Knicks also changing it up. Alec Burks checked in for R.J. Barrett and quickly in for Fournier. Clock at two. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last yeah. touched by Vucevic. Green, he's checked in for the Bulls. For the Dosumu Bulls. comes in for Zach Jeff Levine. Ayo Dosumu. Here's Walker, and the foul Next called on Nerlens Noel. Nerlens That'll Noel. be his second foul of the game. That's his second I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain 
momentum. Probably the most important thing is they regrouped. They worked out some of their frustrations, and now they're starting to have some fun. Now that we have a chance, let's go to the 2K leaderboard and reveal last season's top shot block. Merlin's Noel is second. And shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. The Bulls leading by three. Caruso, the pass to Dosun. Outside, Green. On the wing, DeRozan. It's stolen by Randall. Burks kicks to quickly. Outside, Walker. Ice D from DeRozan. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game. Right, what kind of surprising in such a tight game. Get up and get loud for the lovable. Going with an almost entirely new group. Vucevic checked in for Johnson. Williams comes in for Green. Zach Levine's checked in for Dosumu. And Ball subbed in for Alex Caruso. Now, here's Ball. He has five. From 12 feet out. Mix with the rebound. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Ball against Walker. And DeMar DeRozan pulls it down. Chicago leading by three. Ball dishes to Vucevic. Bulls moving the ball around. It's DeRozan with the drop. And the rejection by Noel. And he gets it back. Vucevic with the bucket. 137 left in the third. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Burks can't get it to go. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Stolen by quickly. From 15 feet away, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Zach Levine. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Bulls. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. Now well, something else we've seen them doing tonight is getting the long ball to drop. Big points coming from three-point range right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. All right, fans, that was your lovable dance team. Make some noise. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. On the wing, Williams. Vucevic down low. Noel on him. The offensive rebound. And the shot goes in. Vucevic has got 10 points here in the second half. This guy, a strong rebounder who uses his frame well. Vucevic has a knack for being in the right spot. Here's Walker, and he converts the layup. Walker's Walker. got his third bucket of the night. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Here's Vucevic. There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Boy, remarkable watching Alec Burks power through the defense. Ball, the pass to Williams. Here's Vucevic. The kick out to Ball. From past the arc, the shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Vucevic has got five assists in the game. On the pass to Burks. And there's the drive. Here's Randall. And it's yeah, wow, and the 
Here's the buzzer beater. And give him credit, good awareness of the time remaining. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game. Neither team giving ground. Bulls lead by two. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, this is exactly what you're looking for from your point guard. Survey the floor, serve it up on time and on target. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. Robinson is out there with Noel, and it's Rose in at the point. Green, no luck. Boy, that's the kind of look this offense is designed to create. That's just a tough miss. Now Rose. Pass to Barrett. Six to shoot. It loose. Back to Rose. Now here's Fournier. He's covered closely. Levine with it. Shoots over Fournier. Levine gets the bucket. Levine's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Bulls. Here's Rose. The shot's good. Yeah, they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Levine against Barrett. Levine gets the bucket. Levine's got 19 points. The consistency for Zach Levine is a guy who's going to be productive night after night after night. Outside Rose. Back to Robinson. And finished off by Robinson. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Outside, Levine. Over Bent. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got eight rebounds in this game. Pass to Green. Back to Levine. Robinson with the block. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Johnson with a screen on Noel. Levine against Noel. And it goes down two points. Levine's got six here in this quarter. Zach Levine working that mid-range game. So easy, so fluid. And Rose wide open. He shoots. And again, it's the Knicks missing. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. On the wing, Levine launches a three. Another three for Chicago. Boy, Levine's range, his consistency for three are so problematic. Robinson sets a screen for Rose. Rebound by the Bulls. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Well, simply running an offense. Probably the area where Zach can grow the most. Now here's Rose. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Inside, Robinson kicks to Noel. It's Barrett on the wing. Two and the run. Good on the three-point shot. Boy, you've got to be shot ready in catch-and-shoot situations. And we know RJ's got a quick trigger. All right, with section one to free teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. So for the Bulls. Vucevic checked in for Green, and it's DeRozan in for ball. And a switcher also for New York. 
Randall's checked in for Noel. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle with his team. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said, this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. See if they were listening, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. Boy, picking up where he left off, his second from distances half five overall. Rose with the ball, and it's Johnson picking him up. Let's the three fly. Rose, no good. Well, you can see his struggles from the field, and I think it's really starting to get to him. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Now here's Rose following the miss by DeRozan. Here's Randall. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Assist from Rose has got his fifth assist in this one. The Knicks making the switch here. Doctors checked in. It's teacher Bonanza. Make some noise. And so Levine will bring it up now for the Chicago Bulls. Seven point differential. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Levine's got 14 points now in the second half. We're talking about a three-level score. Right now, Zach Levine getting to the painted area. High percentage finish. Two minutes remaining in the game. From 13, it's good. And he's been passing today, but maybe that's what he needs to get him going. Because for them to be successful, he's got to be a little more selfish. Now here's Levine outside DeRozan. By post Vucevic. Back to DeRozan for the three. It's rebounded by New York. Barrett, wide open, he fires. A three-pointer is right on target. Three point. Now, just a four-point Bulls lead. One thirty-one left in the fourth quarter. DeRozan for three. Out to the right wing. Levine deciding where to go with it. Shot clock at five. From T. Johnson. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got four rebounds now tonight. Passes it to Fournier. Johnson against Randall. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Get up and get loud for the lovable. Some changes for Chicago. Williams comes in for Johnson. And swans a ball in for Alex Caruso. Great Williams. There's 49 seconds left in the game. Here's Randall. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Vucinic. Uh, Julius Randall is never going to back away from a defensive player. He knows he's got the strength to play through contact. Nice job drawing the foul. All free throws, good from Randall. Well, this is why you run your offense through him in important situations. You know he's going to deliver. Outside, Levine. She's over Fournier. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. The defense not a factor there. Very surprising he couldn't capitalize. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Randall to tie it up. Huge shot to tie it up. Well, this is where the tremendous motor that Randall plays with helps him get rebounds. Levine against Fournier. Let's it go from 11. Missed. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And a 
Wide open look for Walker. He's off from three. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment. These teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters, and now we head to overtime. Should be a blast. Here we go. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So the Bulls five right now. In the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. DeRozan out there with Williams. And it's Vucevic in at the five spot. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Vucevic with the button. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when a shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. Derek Rose has checked in for the Knicks. And it's Rose with the ball for New York. Checking in for the Knicks. On the money with the open jumper. And the Knicks lead by two. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Vucevic finds William. Here's Ball. No good off the back of the rim. New York's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. Two minutes. Outside Robinson. Two minutes. Now the dish to Rose. Puts it up from 12. Ball with the rebound. The Bulls have gone 1 of 4 from the field in the overtime period so far. Here's Levine, and he uses the glass on the way. Levine's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. What a fantastic finish by Zach Levine. Contact? Yeah, I can finish through that. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Well, it doesn't get much easier than that. Even a decent shooter is going to make that with no pressure. On the wing, Levine for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Levine's got 36. And such a plus shooter. I mean, he lives with a big shot. And when he's rolling like this, watch out. Here's Randall. That shot, no good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Down low. And the call will be against R.J. Barrett. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. To the inside. Here's Vucevic. It drops. Well, Nikola Vucevic can score against excellent defense. That is a good finish in close. Surveying the lead. Outside Rose. Here's Barrett. It's in! And that shot brings them to within just one. This guy's a bucket getter. R.J. Barrett finds a way to capitalize on the interior. He's got the size to get it done. Outside the Rosen. The kick out to Bull. Son Williams, back to ball, down to five on the shot clock, here's Vucevic, that one a little long, time call here, the Knicks decide to talk it over, they're trailing by one, 19 seconds left in overtime, what's your take guys? This is where great coaching can pay dividends. Well this is a chance to take the lead, so you've got to draw a play to make it happen. New York with the ball, they trail by one. Go outside. For three, Fournier. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. And so the big win by Chicago on a tight game. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came out in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came in big and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Zach. Some big baskets for you down the stretch. 
What's it like when you have the ball in your hands in those moments? Oh, it was great. I'm not scared to take or miss any shot, you know, and, uh, you know, I'll go down there swinging every time. Well, you connected at the right time tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrich, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Zach Levine.